For this quick introduction, I'm going to use a fountain model. As you can see, it's made of pretty simple shapes. First of all, let's find a key object which we will use to determine the size of future damages. From this menu, you can try different noise types. I'll stick with clouds because it's perfect for this type of stone. The scale is too small, so let's try another one. This one is better as I want the damages to be bigger. It all depends on your needs and artistic choice. I think I will choose this size. Select all pieces, making sure the key object is selected last and click on make damage button. The damage scale is okay for most parts, but I think I'm gonna try a different noise pattern for some pieces. You can click on change pattern as many times as you like until you find what is right for you. I wanna make them not as damaged. Let's also check our pieces for errors. The quick fix button is designed just for that. You need to click on it until no piece is left selected and you'll see the message at the bottom that says no mesh errors found. The model has already improved significantly and can easily be used as is, but we can go even further with the new hero module. Each selected object has received a Geometry Nodes modifier with the Hero Node tree in it. Let's rename it to something more meaningful. As you can see, pieces have different polygon densities, depending on their size. This is because relative scale is on by default. Say, I like the density of this piece, and I can tell Hero to use this particular piece as a scale reference for other objects. Now, all pieces have identical polygon densities. To make adjustments easy, you can toggle Preview Resolution or use the Focus button from the Control Panel. With the Control button, you can isolate the selected piece. Nodes work as layers that you can turn on and off to adjust details more precisely, focusing on one layer at a time. Each node has parameters to control the details. You can really experiment with numbers, add more nodes. You have full artistic control. One more technique I want to show you is how to work with collections using Hero. Let's first create a simple plane to use as a container for the collection. Then create a new Hero. Let's also give it a name. I will call it Fountain. Then we can drag and drop our collection into the Geometry Nodes area. Then add a Realize Instances node and connect it to the mesh and socket. Doing this, we can fuse all pieces together and get an interesting result. This is not mandatory, just an option you have when working with Hero. Let's also turn off Relative Scale checkbox here. Also, let's change the seed for the Mask node and try to add a bit more resolution. The rest is tweaking a few parameters to get the look you want. I want to make the dents on individual parts a bit more visible. Let's bring some randomness to our asset. Add a Rotate Instances node and plug it in right after the Collection Info node. 
I'm turning on preview resolution to make it easier on my computer. Let's also use a random value node with a vector field and give our pieces a slight rotation on the z-axis. We can try to increase the resolution even more. It all depends on your computer specs. Please don't forget to save quite often. thing is, you can always return to any piece and change something. Select the flower part and make its node tree unique. I will name it as flower. Let's add an empty object. I want to show you another useful hero node. Make sure you have snap to face, align rotation to target, and rotate selected. Now, if you press G and hold control, the empty should rotate to that flower piece. Let's also increase its resolution a bit more. I'm turning off these two by now and add a new hero image displace node. Select an image from the pack. Add a bit more resolution here. Forget to choose the right empty object as I just did. Let's also try another noise pattern. I will remove Hero by now. Now, we should reapply our Flower Hero to that piece. You can do it by pressing the control button to have an additional menu to choose from already existing node trees. Then, simply activate your main hero, and that's it. You now have a highly detailed asset, with no sculpting involved, all procedural. Ready to be baked, 3D printed, or used in any other way.